is Adam. In this video we're going to be looking at TGTG eCats with link specs to your website and the option of using that with product tags. Um, so this is different from using redirects. Um, so by default um, WooCommerce installs that we do are set up using product tags for the eCats and what's that what that means is that um, the eCat um, links back to your website are set up for your website um, route. In this example we're looking at our STOYSNET sample website and then it's calling a product tag and in this case it's calling the tag of the item by this, the product SKU that originates from the TGTG issue. So if we were to look at that um, by default the, if you if you were to click on a, a link from that in the catalog, it would go to a product not found because that product has to be built with the tag applied to it. And then once you do apply that tag and build the product, it'll go directly to the pro, the the website with a in a product tag search result that says basically, hey, do you have a product with this tag? It finds it and says, yep, I have this product here. Um, the, the difference between the display on that is that the um, redirect architecture can go right to the product landing page. So if you want us to supply your store with um, redirect based URLs for TGTG to build off of, um, you'd need to let us know on that. Okay, so, but in this case we're going to be looking at how to deal with tags or product tags as the mechanism for linking from the catalog. So we've set up these this couple example here with a couple items. Um, it looks different on the catalog, but essentially it's the same thing. The user clicks and then they go to a URL that's based on the product tag and it's found there. So in the retail portal, um, first of all in your TGTG catalog settings, you're going to leave off push redirects leave it off because you don't need that on there. Um, you can leave the URL page populated or not. Um, it only comes into play if you are using uDirects. And as usual, we would select the issue um, that we're dealing with. In this case, we're showing you how to do it on the holiday 2022 catalog. So you would save those changes. And then um, coming over to your TGTG catalog, we'll find that um, your your products are mapped um, automatically overnight, but depending on when your products were built into your WooCommerce site, they may or may not either all be mapped or you may have some that um, don't have data points that correlate, so you may need to map them directly. And that's as easy as, I think this site, demo site, yeah, they're all mapped because we basically just loaded the website with the core data. Um, so for example, if we were to look at Holiday Zipcar on the website here, you see that that item exists and basically it's core information um, depending on how you're handling your POS to website sync that may be a, a third party app that's involved in um, mapping and syncing the core item data from like QuickBooks POS or um, Square or whatever they um, POS system they're using and, and and connecting with WooCommerce. Um, if we were to look at this product here, you know, we'd see that basically it just has a product name. Um, it has the product um, uh, manufacturer SKU, and in a lot of cases, it would probably have the UPC, um, depending on how your sync is set up or how you upload the products. In this case, we just use the CSV to pull a, a list of theoretical products into the website and populate it that way. But almost all of the holiday catalogs don't have imagery or um, um, images or tags associated with them yet. Actually, we did push the, the tags, so it's a little bit different there. But I'll show you how that works. So back to Retail Portal. Um, after you've mapped stuff up, well, let's say you, you need to map up some uh, a product up, you can just click Map. Um, then it'll pull up all the products from the website. This is assuming that it's um, already run the get for you. So then we would just search by the product name. Um, we've got a couple items here and the hyper running Zippo car is obviously the one. This It's selected already but we'll just say we're reconfirming that so we just select it again and it'll update to reflect that it's going to this product, uh, this um, website SKU. Okay, so you've let's say you've done that for all your products or all the products that you're going to use on your um, catalog on your website. Um, the next thing you would want to do is just basically select all 
And so this will select all the products in the issue. And then from the command drop down here, we're going to say um, push STN SKU as tags. And we'll run that command. I already ran it on this, so I'll leave that. Um, but just I'll show you the results. So basically it'll push a couple different things. It'll push the TGTG um, SKU for the product, which is the same architecture um, that, it, that it, it always is, TGTG, issue, year, and then the vendor SKU. And it'll also push a issue-based all tag. And when that's useful for, um, it does a couple things. So this um, TGTG SKU is very specific to the product. Each one is unique. But then the um, all tag here is useful for finding everything um, as a collection. Um, if you look at these in tags, in your WooCommerce site. Let's just do um, 22 all as a filter here. We'll see that that's the tag there. Um, if we look around the front end, we see that the, the front end site is um, pulling up all of the products based on that tag. It's kind of a universal tag so you could send um, your customers, you can link to all of your products in the holiday collection through that tag architecture. Or you could you then use that to you know put those in a category or define them however you wanted to on that. Um, let's go back a second. You can also look at the products in your WooCommerce product editor, obviously, by clicking on the tag, and you'll filter all those um, items in one group for use there. So that that really quickly basically adds all the the tags that you'll need in, so that any of the links. Um, from the ECAT will now find the associated product um, on the website. What it doesn't do is it push the product images and description information. So you'd also want to do a second step here. Um, I'm going to say that we've already done that in an example. Um, we've gone through and we've checked our logs, um, action logs, and the push SKU to tags process has run and it's complete. So now we're going to push the product data. So going back to the TGTG catalogs, and you can run these, you can set these up sequentially. You don't have to wait for it to finish, but um, if you're if you're looking to see if the tags, did the tags get pushed or um, did the product data get pushed, you check your action logs. So we're going to, um, in this case, uh, we're going to select all the products and we're going to push the product data, this time the images and such, to our WooCommerce site. Um, and this, let's just do um, one here so it's a little bit quicker. We'll push this Brio Railway set. Okay. We'll search for that guy. I'm going to deselect all first of all. I'm going to say, let's push that one. Okay. So that's going to put that in the queue or the bucket, as we like to say, to get pushed. Um, and as soon as that action log is done, this particular item will be updated on the website. In a practical manner, you'd probably just want to select everything or um, all of the products that you want pushed. Um, I recommend um, using the mapping here. And then it's in a lot of cases in a real life situation, you can either select all um, or select everything that you want through filtering, let's say, and then push those product data from the um, catalog um, tool here. Or you can also go to the st store products page and do the same thing with a little bit more granularity. And by that I mean, for example, um, we're going to search by TGTG underscore HO22 here in the STN SKU column of our store products, and we've got those items here. Um, you can do things then by, like for example, checking. So I'm gonna, I've searched for those, I've got those items isolated and I wanna look at them real quickly. I'm gonna check this first one and I see, oh, web, yep, website item doesn't have any information. I wanna mark that one. Um, just check through those real quickly. Um, and so if you found, let's say for example, that this item, you already have it already nicely set up and customized how you want it, yeah, you would skip that item. Same here if you say no. It's good on the website. I already skipped that. This one needs to be added, for example, mark, mark, mark. So it gives you a chance to preview um, supply data to website current status um, in a preview window and decide if you're going to push product data for those items or not. Once you've set the last mark you want, um, and these do a hundred at a time, so it's still pretty quick, but it lets you preview. Um, then you would just say, I want to push those items um, to WooCommerce. So in this case, let's um, just go ahead. We're going to do everything. So we're going to go back. Um, you can do it from either place here. We'll just show you how to, in this case, we're going to select all 292 items um, from the collection, holiday 
um, holiday issue and we're going to run the command to push all those items there again that can be done from the store products report or you can run the same command from the tgtg um, tools tgtg catalog page so that's the essence of um, setting up your tgtg um, catalog links based on tag product tag architecture um, if you if you if you do want to do the um, redirects architecture of the tags let us know and we'll set that up ahead of time with TGTG and then if you look at that other video um, in this help page as it describes pushing um, redirects to Shopify it's basically the same thing um, you would set up your landing page push the redirects um, using the um, update catalog redirects command here Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to support at stoysnet.com. Thank you.